big part of literacy learning centers is teacher organization. You have to know where students are going and what they're working on and how are they doing at completing the tasks there. So there's a couple things that we have in place. First of all, the work board is pictured in the middle of the slide. And this is where students are assigned to go. Now, sometimes the work board looks a lot like the smart board picture we looked at a couple slides ago for Daily 5. Um, and sometimes teachers have these pocket charts. If you look at this, um, this work board, the Literacy Center is going to be um, the orange group. So on Monday, the orange group, and you can see the names of the boys and girls in the orange group, will go to the library center, and the green group will go to the listening center, and the yellow group will go to the writing center. The blue group will go to the magnetic letter center, and the red group will go to the browsing box, which is leveled books. On Tuesday, the orange group will go to the browsing box, and the green group will go to the library center, and the yellow group will go to the listening center, and the blue group will go to the writing center, and the red group will go to the magnetic letters. Now, I'm not going to repeat myself, but if you look further down that chart, you can see some differentiation because green group goes to the computer, and no one else does. And um, I believe that's the only real change up for the week. But you can put whatever you want there. Sometimes teachers only put the picture of the center they want their students to go for that day, which is more like the other work board we saw during Daily 5. But you'll see a lot of different ways to organize. But remember, one center a day, four centers for the week, and then some sort of bonus center. Teachers have that chance then during literacy centers to conference with students and to, to meet with them one-on-one. -on -one. If you take a peek by clicking on the little log sheet right there in the bottom right corner, make that nice and big, and that's what we call the weekly assessment sheet. And you will see by clicking on that that teachers will fill this out each week and they will share what are the skills that a student is working on um, academically, what are their social skills, and what are their work habits. And then again, that goes home on Friday, and parents get the chance on Friday to see how their child does on this little mini report card. So it's a great communication tool. Also, it allows for differentiation of goals each week.